Hi, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. In this video, we'll discuss the importance of software development plan. Stay till the end to find out how we reduce the risks associated with planning. We'll also share our best practices proven by years of experience. Make sure you subscribe not to miss our newest insights in the world of tech. Let's start now. What's a software development plan? A software development plan describes the development process step by step. It covers planning, ideation, development, documentation, deployment, launch, and sometimes maintenance. The goal of a software development plan is to answer the following questions. One, which functionality is chosen to solve this problem? Two, which tasks need to be formed to develop the described functionality? Three, what is the order of the feature development? Four, who is involved in the project? Five, how is responsibility divided among the team members? Six, what are the expected dependencies in the product? And seven, what quality metrics will define the efficiency of the project and the quality of the product? Now we'll share how we write a software development plan. Stay on to find how we approach each section. The document starts with introduction. This section describes the purpose of the software development project and product. We include the product description, product concept, goals for the development, the project needs, this section refers to business and functionality objectives, and abbreviations, describing all the used acronyms, special symbols, etc. Then we move on to project organization. In this section, we state the team's structure assign the managers of the project and their responsibilities. You can create a table like the one you see on the screen. Also, we need to describe the involved external groups, other teams and experts that developers will interact with. Usually, there are external groups of QA, deployment, and marketing experts. The next section is management. We include estimates, predicted duration and cost of the project, project plan, meaning an approximate schedule, the project's main stages, and available resources. Development phases, with general description, objectives of every stage, release plans, with the expected release dates and status, beta, demo, alpha, etc. And finally, resourcing, describing available and unavailable skills, hardware, and software. By the way, if you are interested in different software development strategies, you can read the article we prepared for you with benefits and drawbacks. Find the link in the description box. All right, let's continue. Then we need to describe the steps of project control. We need to list actions and approaches we'll take to oversee the quality of the project and the team's efficiency. You can see the example right now. The next section is maintenance and support. We describe which information and assistance we'll provide to the stakeholders. It can include a separate testing plan, ways of handling tech debt. Developers should be held accountable for technical issues that are found in their code. This is something we strongly believe in Jelvix. We often hear stories of irresponsible dev teams and the damage these teams made for the business. If you have this kind of experience, share your story in the comments section. You might help someone to avoid unprofessional teams. The next point in the maintenance section is documentation our development team guarantees to deliver, and the description of post-release cooperation, as well as future releases. We believe that setting up a clear algorithm for further support of the project ensures its long-term viability and scalability. Obviously, things can go wrong as early as the planning stage. Therefore, here, we'd like to share the possible risks of project planning. First, estimates are highly approximate, if a vendor promises to deliver everything at some definite time and on a budget, these experts lack experience in planning. A trustworthy team always takes margins of error into account. The bigger the scope, the higher the risks. The more stages there are in a project, the more bottlenecks can occur. Plans can tackle wrong needs. It's necessary to rewrite a software development plan and make sure it always suits the latest project needs. Plans do not correlate with users' best interests. Defining your target audience and talking to potential clients is the key stage of successful software development planning. All teams aren't on the same page. If you have external teams, make sure you include them in the process of planning. 
To sum up, we'd like to share our team's best practices for creating a software development plan. One, break the process of creating a plan into modules. We suggest defining each plan section as a module and assigning responsible team members. Two, research must be shared in real time. Three, the plan must be constantly revisited and modified. Four, the team must ask for users' opinions. All in all, software development planning is just as impactful as the development itself. It's a long-term investment. A plan will be one of your main documents for years. You can even reuse approaches in other projects and for other products. Now it's time to give the video a thumbs up. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, QA and testing, and IT consulting services. Find our contacts in the description box. Stay with us on this channel. We are regularly sharing our insights and experiences in business and technology. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button.